Today I'm showing you a 200k Premier League squad builder. FIFA 21 is here. Don't waste your money on FIFA points. Go to MMOPO.com and get cheap, fast and safe FIFA 21 coins. Use code OSNOS to get 8% off your order. Link in the description. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today's video we got a 200k Premier League squad builder. If you're enjoying the squad builders, make sure to drop a like. Do it right now. Come on, I'll give you a couple of seconds to do it. Thank you very much. And now, if you're enjoying the content, subscribe. You've got daily FIFA 21 content from me. Hit the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. I'm trying to get 17k by the end of the year. Let's do it. So 200k is an amount that a lot of people should have. If you win all five of your placement games, you get about 140. It's very easy to make coins in this game. So if you just have around 200k, I believe this is the best Premier League team you can build, in my opinion. Without further ado, let me show you the team. As per usual, we're using the 4-5-1 formation. So solid fort building squad builders. Nevertheless, we're starting goal. Nick Pope, 6 foot 7. It's what you want on a keeper. You I could have gone for Areola, players like that. But Nick Pope at 82 rating, 6 uh, foot 7 height is absolutely brilliant. He is... Three star weak foot and one star skill moves don't really care about for the keeper. But the thing is his um, reflexes are great at 84 and his handling is great at 81. His diving is decent enough. Um, I've left him on a basic to improve everything roughly. I think that's the best way to do it. Very cheap player. Comes crosses and saves with feet. Two fantastic player traits for a goalkeeper. Not much to say about him. There were some other options but I think he's the best because I like a tall goalkeeper. Moving on to right back, we have the pace merchant, that is Ryan Fredericks. Now, slightly annoying thing about him is that he is 3-star, three 3-star. Three you sometimes want either a 4-star weak foot or a 4-star skills, your right back. But nevertheless, it's not a position that matters too much when it comes to skills and weak foot. Great player, high medium, it's what you want. 5'11", fairly tall, rapid with the, the 92 pace is what you want. 93 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. Fantastic pace. Dribbling is good enough. Um, yeah, we've got a nice little uh, nice little cent sentinel to improve his defending and physical because that's what you want improving in a right back because he's got 70 defending and 69 physical. So we're boosting that up quite high and quite nice. So he'll have better stats. Moving into the first centre back, it's the Chelsea boy, Fakayo Tamori. 80 pace on a centre-back is what you want. And weak foot four stars, very useful on a centre-back. Medium medium's not a bad um, player work rate. You sometimes want high defensive, but medium medium shouldn't be too bad. He won't be bombing out the pits too much. Six foot one, very nice height for a centre-back. Maybe you'd like a bit taller, but with that pace, six one, you'll definitely take. So very pacey and his defending and physical is really good. And uh, yeah, and with the chem style of the anchor, it thoroughly improves it. So a very, very good cheap option this card is. Moving on to our centre-back pairing. Nathan Aki, quite expensive at 35k, so taking up a decent chunk. But out of the lower-rated Premier League centre-backs, I thought this guy was the best. Um, you can grab his ones to watch card, which I think is like 20k more. So m make sure you think about that if you're building this team. Um, I'm not sure he's going to get a lot of informs this year, considering that Man City just bought Diaz. Nevertheless, great player. 5'11". Medium high is what you want from a centre-back. Um, I'm surprised he doesn't have higher than three-star weak foot. But nevertheless, he's left-footed. And I've got my left centre-back. And I've got a right-footed at right centre-back. So that's what you want. A great option. Pacey and good at defending. Left-back, we have another pace merchant. We have... I um, can't pronounce the name. Sim Simicass? I think it is. Decent pace, which is what you want. Three-star, three-star. Very Basically, a carbon cop and a Fredericks put on the other side. Again, we've got anchor on him to prove his defending and physical. Moving on. At right mid, we have Pepe. Now, this was the one I didn't really know what to do. This one is something that you might want to change. He is very one-footed, obviously. He's a left-foot merchant. Four-star skill views is very nice, I'm not going to lie. So, um, I always find it that it's not that hard to deal with wingers that have uh, like low weak foot. Because I'm going to be playing on the right anyway. He's going to work for me there. He's very decent. All I do is finesses or near post with the left foot. So I'm never really in need of right foot too much. Um, very decent height. Very skillful. Um, his pace is lovely. His shooting is brilliant, especially with the chem style I have on him. Passing is brilliant. Lovely card all round. Next, in we're basically playing 4-2-3-1. So my more defensive CDM is indeed he's going to be the anchor with an anchor chem style on. Four-star weak foot is lovely. Great passing. His defending and physical is ridiculous at 87 and 84. 
no one's getting past him. He's medium high, so he's always going to stay back, which is absolutely lovely. An absolute rock at CDM and uh, going to be going to be brilliant in this formation. I'm not going to lie to you. Moving on to left mid quickly, uh, who we're going to play at left attacking mid is Wilfred Zaha. Five star skill moves is lovely. You love the skill. Again, three star weak foot, but weak foot for me in this kind of thing doesn't really affect me because right foot, I'm either going to be putting it in the far post with the right foot or near post with the right foot as well. So it works very well. Medium medium is not ideal. I would prefer high medium, but nevertheless, this card looks very juicy. His shooting's brilliant um, and high shot power is just what you want. With the chem style on, he's got very high uh, shooting uh, power and then physical is fantastic. Good strength, aggression. Stamina could be a bit higher, but nevertheless, you're going to have subs. And he has flair and technical dribbler, which is always great. Moving into our cam. Now, you can obviously use... I only had one towards the edge because I'm a Chelsea fan, so I bought him. But obviously, to make this 200... Uh, K use the normal version of him. That's what you want to get. Fantastic card. Five star skill moves. Weak foot is an issue here. I'm not gonna lie. Two star, but left foot. If you just put everything on the left foot, you should be fine. He's gonna have a wonderful left foot. He's gonna dribble around people. It's gonna be brilliant. What a card. 511, and hopefully he'll get a couple of informs for me this year. But nevertheless, as I said, use the normal one if you don't have the money for the ones to watch. Our second CDM, who's going to be more of the box to box, is Kovacic, another Chelsea player. Fantastic card this year. Um, obviously, his shooting isn't too good, which is expected, but. 75 pace, lovely. I've got a shadow on him, so his defending and fi defending is brilliant. His physical is good enough. His dribbling is unbelievable, as it rightly should be, and his passing is fantastic. 4-4 four, four with high high and a decent height. This card is going to be the one that you want. I'm not going to lie. He looks outrageous, and he's going to be brilliant. Player traits, flair, playmaker, and technical dribble dribbler is just what you want from like a defensive box-to-box -box kind of player. Attributes, pace, lovely, passing, lovely, dribble, passing, um, and his stamina is great, and his aggression, 77, is just what you want. With the shadow on, it makes his defending really good. Last but not least, up front, we have my favourite, Richarlison, a ridiculous card, fantastic pace, um, especially with the hunter on, dribbling's brilliant, physical, he feels really strong and powerful, he just glides across the pitch. Four star, five star is unbelievable. As a striker, if you can take any shot on either foot, it's brilliant. Now, the great thing about the fact that he's high, high, you'd normally think it's a negative, but the great thing is with uh, with me having ZH stay forward, they basically play like two strikers, which is just what you want. Um, I find this guy really good, um, especially as a sub for me. Look how all-rounded that car is. An unbelievable starting striker for the Premier League, technical dribble and flair. It's just what you want. So this is how it lines up there. Let me just show you quickly what my custom tactics are. If we go to here, Drop back on only on four, fast build up, loads of players in the box. Formation 4-2-3-1 with Zaha and Pepe on the wings and Didi and Kovacic back. Instructions, stay central, get in behind for my striker and my wingers. Cam as well, stay forward. And then everyone in defence, stay back while attacking. Indeedy stay central, cover centre and Kovacic cover in general and wing. That's basically what the team is. It's a great squad. Let me know if you go and build this. Let me know if you think you can improve this team in any way. I'd be interested to know. Thanks for watching and goodbye.